might have been a hit right there. Yep. All right, so we just got back from our little break, um, and me and Gavin have decided to go absolutely crazy. Those fish were coming up on the surface and demolishing our floats. So Gavin put on a big, bright chartreuse bait, and I have this giant pink, hot pink Junior's jig tail below my free float. So we're gonna go ahead and cast this out, and I think both of us have absolutely no doubt that we can get on some fish like this. What a crazy hit. It didn't even hit the bait. That's what I thought. I thought I didn't even have a fish, but nope. It's just a pressure change with these crappie. And Gavin's got one too. Didn't even see or feel the hit. Oh, popped right at the surface. That's too bad. That would have been our second double up of the day. That was the ninth fish and we just lost it right here. That's such a shame. Try and be a lot more careful with that next time. Oh, it's okay. Really? Yeah. It's okay that I just lost that last one because uh, instantly hooked right back up. These fish are fighting like crazy for the winter. It's awesome. There we go. Another big old crappie. That's just another clip right there. I didn't even have to, I probably don't even have to cut that. Lost the crappie, cast right back out, catch another one on that big, ridiculous pink Junior's jig tail. Another big, beautiful crappie. Send him back where he belongs. the release I was hoping for. There he goes. Swam off strong. Oh, there we go. Stuck him. Man, you were right earlier talking about how crappie just displace water. Not even close to our biggest of the day, but anywhere else, this would be a slab. Anywhere else, this would be a ridiculously nice crappie, but here, this is probably the smallest of the day. Our 10th fish of the day, 10th fish, fish of the year. Another nice black crappie, beat up. Tail fin. What is the tail fin called? Is that the caudal fin? Yeah. There we go, caudal fin. So I believe these are the ventral fins. This is the anal fin. This is the caudal fin. And then this is the dorsal fin, if I'm not mistaken. There we go, another ridiculous crappie. And another horrible release. goodness this one's fighting like crazy the bite's so good out here I don't even know what to say on these fish
well. I just absolutely soaked my arm. But there's fish number 11 right there. See, I don't even know what to say for these fish anymore. That is how fantastic the fishing is out here. I just got hooked up and I hardly even said anything. That's how good it is. That's fish number 11, I believe. Another black crappie, absolutely fantastic. There we go. Just another big, healthy crappie. They all fight and they all dog. It is awesome. Big head shake. Woo! Holy cow. That's close to the biggest of the day. It's gotta be close to the biggest of the day right there. Just another beautiful, big, healthy crappie. Absolutely choked that bait. No, I think it fell down his throat. There's the bait right there. That is fantastic. Holy cow. Fish number 12, maybe? Just another big crappie. I saw that hit, but just like the heavens, it's on the drop. Oh my gosh, that is insane. <laughs> Dude, why fish anywhere else all winter? <laughs> Dude, look at this muskrat. See, the muskrat knows what's up. There we go. Another healthy crappie. You know, personally, I've never seen this many big healthy crappie in my life. I've never caught this many. I've never touched this many. This is awesome. And once again, on that giant pink jig tail, send him right back. There he goes. So to have this happen in the middle of the winter time, just like this, is incredible. I couldn't even imagine or dream of this in the spring or the summertime. So this is incredible stuff for me. This is awesome. I'm so glad I got this on video. This has been a fantastic day of fishing. I, I'm so glad getting back into the YouTube game, I have some good footage to put out there. I think that's probably my 13th or 14th fish of the day we've gotten three species just tons of big crappie it doesn't get much better than this there it is oh my gosh they just it's like everything just takes this giant plunge underwater the float the jig your rod tip Everything just goes down when they suck it up. You're at how many, Gavin? Gavin's got seven crappie on the day. I'm hooked up with, I believe, my 14th or 15th fish of the day, and it's just dogging me. Holy cats. Just another big crappie. Yeah, heck yeah. He's fighting like a monster. That is awesome. Woo. My goodness. What dreams are made of. Popped off at the end there, but he's so big and it's so cold that he didn't even know what was going on. Look at that beast. Easily a master angler. You want to get a shot of this real quick for me? Yeah. Dude, I appreciate that. Dude, 
What an insane crappie. Huge crappie. That's approaching PB territory for me. Let's take that in real quick. Give it three seconds to soak in the moment and let him go. Look at that fish. Well, folks, that is just, that is awesome. That hard bait when you use it. There we go again. Don't mind me ranting about soft plastics as opposed to hard baits because we just got our 16th or 17th crappie of the day. That's awesome stuff. That's what dreams are made of right there. That might be one of our smallest, if not our smallest crappie of the day, and still just a fat, healthy fish. It'd be nice to have a net so I could go ahead and set down my rod and land these nicely. Show off to the camera. There we go. Should be 15th or 16th fish of the day. Just another healthy crappie. Fantastic outing to start off the year. And we're just, we're gonna go until it's completely dark out here. One disadvantage, disadvantage of this float rig is that it is a little difficult sometimes. Whoa, that was a hit right off the bat. I think we have a fish. Yup. Hit right off the bat. Practically on the drop. We're kind of bullying him on this rod, but this is a nice rod, does have some good bend in it, so we can get some fight out of these fish, even though I have a heavier pound test on. And these fish just don't know when to quit. It's awesome. There's just another big, healthy crappie right there. Hopefully the camera's in focus. I must say, beautiful colors on these fish. They're not, none of them are washed out. None of them have any real parasites on them. It's absolutely fantastic. And look at that. That's a, that is an awesome picture right there of the bait right in that top lip. So it should be the 17th or 18th fish of the day for me. And he's heading right back right now. There he goes. Oh, had a hit there. Just missed a hit. That's tough when you're getting down to your last two fish of the night when you miss a hit. You want something to end off on. Might have been a hit right there. Yep. There we go. So the school moved back to within our range. That was another nice hit. Oh my gosh. He's pulling. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, Gavin. Dude, that's not just a big one. That is the big one. That's Jack Kahuna Laguna. Every thousand years or so. Every thousand years or so, a crappie comes by. Admired oh. for a second. Woo. Like, no. No. Oh. That is bigger than both of my hands together. I really hope the camera can capture the utter magnitude of that crappie that is insane dude oh my goodness starting off the year with pb quality fish all right you guys last view of that fish that is probably my personal best crappie that i've ever caught well personal best black crappie that is Just sitting there. There he goes, picking off. Holy cow. That's a fish you would see 
in a Cabela's tank. So uh, I don't know, maybe 18th or 19th fish of the night, but by far our biggest. That was an insane crappie. He didn't even have thin lips, that's how big he was. His, his lips were like bluegill jaws. That's how big that fish was. But my goodness, what a catch. I think that just sums up the day right there. Absolute dead of winter, getting colder, not even the warmest day we've had in the past week, and still coming out here and catching awesome fish. That was just fantastic. That was the biggest crappie, and you know what that crappie did differently than all the others? He ran. He made runs. That's how big he was. Gavin might be hooked up on the biggest fish of the day right now. Based on how it's fighting and holding. And he can't even move it. <laughs> do, do you even have a fish or just a rock? Oh my gosh. Dude. Dude, are you sure that's a crappie? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get ready to go ahead and take a picture for Gavin. All right, so I think I'm gonna include some footage of Gavin's right there to finish off the night. I'm not even gonna take another cast. I think for both of us, that is an awesome fish to end the night. What an incredible way to start the new year. What an incredible way to get back into YouTube for me. I think I caught 18 to 19 fish, majorly black crappie. We caught black crappie, we caught pumpkin seed, and we caught bluegill. It's 32 degrees out, it's absolutely freezing, it's getting dark, so we're gonna go ahead and call it a night. Oh, I think my finger was in the way of the camera there. But uh, it's 32 degrees out, it's freezing, it's getting dark. So I think we're gonna call it a night. But thank you so much for watching. This was just an incredible day of fishing, an incredible way to start the new year. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. I think one of us has to post a video with the title, A Crappy Day of Winter Fishing. But make it C-R-A-P-P-I-E. You know? Yeah. You know what? Post the video. Post the video. Oh. And for the title, one of us will have to say a crappy day of winter fishing. A crappy day.